yeah, I get a bit. Of, I get cop a bit about it, especially when I um, dropped Joe Burns last year at Adelaide, and I guess assisted in them be beating us and um, contributing to them being the winners and going to the Champions League. But um, oh, look, I, I think early doors uh, when guys left, I think it was sort of frowned upon, but now it's um, it's quite accepted, and that's just the nature of the nature of the 2020 competition, I guess. I mean. Leave, leaving the leaving the heat this year was a tough decision for me, um, but it's one I made and one that I was happy with and happy to stick with. And um, but who who knows what might eventuate? Like I might be back here. I'm not sure. I can't answer those questions yet. But um, yeah, like I mentioned, it's the nature of it now, and everyone's professional enough to accept it. But I guess that doesn't stop the the boys giving me plenty of grief. And if they win the Champions League, I'm I'm sure I'll get more of that. Um, I think early guys struggled, um, but I think now it's 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 pretty easy to just switch over. Like ever, everyone's played a lot of cricket now, and they know they know what it takes just to uh, flick that switch and go into four day mode. I think probably the biggest difference after the 2020 period and Christmas is the bowl, the bowlers' workloads. I guess um, they've gone from bowling four overs at night, full of adrenaline, to having to bowl sometimes 25 overs in a day um, in the hot sun. So that, I guess, is probably the only difference that um, the guys probably have to work on. But I don't think it takes too much, too much for the batters to uh, get switched back into four-day mode.